Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. In this section, Dr. Fay talks about the dog experiment with E5 he's about to start with the aim of reproducing Dr. Catch's result of reducing the epigenetic age of rats by 54%. Before we listen to Dr. Fay's update, a quick recap from Dr. Catcher on the background to the trial. One question I had on the paper. So the paper is, is actually on BioArchive right now, which is a preprint. So is there a, is it in peer review? Is the plan to get it peer reviewed? You know, Steve, me, I'm, I'm, I'm nobody. Steve Horvath is a very famous guy and he doesn't want to settle for anything less than the top journals. Right. So he, he wants us to have some third party validation, for example. And that's exactly why I'm going to California. Somebody said, you're going, you're going to California? Yeah, that's why I'm going to, <laughs> that's why I'm going to California on Wednesday. Right. Make yeah. To make elixir here in the United States and to send it to, to one, what they call a CRO, which is, which is a, a um, contract research uh, okay. country. It's a contract. They validate your uh, your product or not. It's a billion dollar company, so it's not a it's not a fly by night. Right. Yeah. We're also having another set of experiments with um, Greg Fahey. Fahey, mm-hmm. do you know him? I know of him. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, and his dogs. Interesting. Yes. Yeah, so that'll be a, a new species, but the uh, the um, the CRO will be with with uh, rhesus monkeys, I believe, non-human primates in any case. Okay, so so the CRO will attempt to reproduce your results with non-human primates my, with my uh, with my elixir with your elixir, right? Yes. And um, so Greg Fahey, he's going to be looking at dogs. So are the, will these, so I, I know that Dr. Cablin, I don't know if you know, so Dr. Cablin. Oh, yes, Matt Cablin. Yeah, Matt Cablin. So he is doing, and the reason he picked dogs is because they're in our environment and they have different genetics. So is Dr. Fahey, Fahey's dogs, are they going to be lab dogs? Or are they going to be like? They're, 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 no, they're not lab dogs. They're, uh, they're not let's yeah. say they're lab dogs. They're not typical lab dogs. They're a mixed breed of uh, medium-sized dogs. Okay. Variety of ages. It's going to take a lot of elixir. Is is anyone? Oh, I suppose that, so. These are separate organizations. So you, apart from delivering the elixir, you will not be involved in these tests. So they will do the tests. They will do the tests. Yeah. Okay. So we will so- not be involved. Okay, so that's what, that's what makes it third party validation. Right. Yeah. Dr. Catcher's experiment. Yes. Extending the lifespan of rats. But I, I believe in your case, it's, it's dogs. Uh, can you talk about what you're doing there and uh, have you started and, and what, what, kind of where you are? So uh, just to uh, recap that very briefly. So Dr. Catcher uh, showed that in a, in a rat model, he was able to rejuvenate the animals based on a variety of different measures. Mm-hmm. The effects seemed very powerful and strong, and they were uh, corroborated by Steve Horbath, who uh, had developed a rat uh, uh, epigenetic uh, aging clock as well. And according to that, the epigenetic age of the rats went back by 50%, which is just mm-hmm. stunning. Uh, but uh, it, it hasn't. That's not a peer-reviewed paper yet, unfortunately. So I hope that they will dust that off uh, and get it peer-reviewed. But uh, but still, it is what it is, and I, I have no reason to think that the data are wrong or anything like that. So uh, there are two uh, points, actually, probably more than two, but I'm particularly aware of two points of departure from that study. One is a follow-up study in rats, uh, which is being done in conjunction with Steve Horbath at UCLA. Uh, and then there's uh, an attempt to set up a uh, follow-on study with dogs. So uh, 
I uh, wear two hats. I wear the uh, aging hat at Intervene Immune. I also wear another hat uh, at a company called 21st Century Medicine. Mm -hmm. And I, I bring up 21st Century Medicine because 21st Century Medicine is one of a family of, of companies, another one of which has a dog colony. So uh, I was aware that we have a bunch of dogs sitting around in this other company that uh, were not being used that much and are getting old. And uh, proposed to Harold, uh, Dr. Catcher, that uh, that uh, they use these dogs for uh, for uh, an E5 study, a rejuvenation intervention trial on the dogs. We're not sure if that facility uh, will actually end up hosting that study or not, but uh, the process of trying to set that up uh, has led to a lot of people getting interested in this, including uh, pet owners. Uh, so dog colonies are one thing, dogs living quote unquote, in the wild, in other words, at home, uh, are another thing. And uh, uh, we uh, have a, an experiment we hope will happen fairly soon in which uh, one of these dogs will be uh, treated with uh, Harold's magic elixir and, uh, and we'll see what happens. And then we'll, uh, I, I'm happy to help Harold uh, and, and other people line up more dogs so we can get uh, some, some results uh, in a bigger population. I do think that if we can rejuvenate dogs, that's just gonna knock over the whole system. You know, it, that's just gonna be a game changer. Uh, but we will see, we will see. It, it has to be done, you know, it, you can't count your chickens, uh, you know, until mm. they're, uh, no. until they're, right. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, no, the E5 seems uh, very interesting. Okay, yeah. um, and like doing it in real, in, in like pet dogs would be very interesting, like, like the, project that Matt Cablin is running. I mean, it's more, yeah. uh, more kind of yeah, real I life. To, I had to convince Harold to do it in, in dogs uh, because dogs are big and they require a lot of his stuff. And he had to gear up to produce mass quantities of his E5 stuff, but uh, he was eventually talked into it. So he's, he's in the process of doing that. And uh, that's good because you need a lot of E5 to treat people as well. So yeah. uh, I, have a, I have a feeling they're looking at clinical uh, studies as well, uh, setting those up, but uh, they, uh, they keep their cards close to their vest. So I don't know much about that. Right. And, and so, sorry, the, uh, the dog experiment is being thought about, but it's not like scheduled at this point. It's, it's been planned. Uh, we have uh, the services of perhaps the best veterinarian in the United States, at least called that by some people a great guy uh, who's interested in aging uh, by coincidence. Uh, he's gonna be administering the E5 to the dog, uh, the, the, the sort of poster boy dog that starts the whole thing off. Uh, and we have the dog and we have the owner, you know, we have, I think the venue. So it, there's no reason it shouldn't happen. I think that uh, Harold has uh, finally gotten to the point of having enough E5 for the experiment as well. So I think it's just a matter of finding the right uh, scheduling for it. And then if that works, Katie, bar the door. Okay, that would be excellent to see that. Yes, yes. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.